I chose plastic surgery after being in general surgery and actually doing a fellowship in surgical oncology. And so a lot of our cancer patients required reconstructive surgery. And uh, I decided I liked that better than the general surgery or the surgical oncology. And so I felt that I wanted to do something like that for the rest of my life. My goals when I take on a new patient are several. And there's several milestones involved in the taking care of the patient. The first goal is to listen to the patient and to find out what their concerns are and determine whether or not uh, plastic surgery is going to solve their problems. Then we examine the patient. After we examine the patient, uh, it formulates a, a plan or a series of potential plans that we can sit down and once again discuss with the patient with the understanding that we want to pick the operation that's going to be best for them to satisfy their goals and to meet their expectations. Once that's done and we commit to surgery, the next goal is to do as perfect an operation as possible. Then the final goal is to take good care of them afterwards and do everything we can to make sure their experience is as good as it can be. We strive every day to provide an environment for people where they can have surgery safely and affordably and efficiently. When we get evaluations back from our patients, uh, they always give our staff high marks. Most of our, our operating room staff, for example, have been with us for 10 years or more. The two anesthesiologists we work with, I've known and worked with for more than 20 years. So when you have that kind of a cohesive team doing the same thing day after day uh, and doing a great job for the patients, uh, it, it just doesn't get any better than that.